Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I made a video trailer using Midjourney, Runway ML, ChatGPT, Eleven Labs, and Suno AI. First, I'm going to show you the end product of the trailer I made, and then I will go into each tool, how to use it, and make a new video for you guys to follow along with. So, without further ado, let's get into the rest of the video. In the heart of Austin, a vibrant pulse echoes. AITX and where AI enthusiasts and innovators converge, uniting founders, engineers, and dreamers. Together, we're shaping the future of AI. Join us, grow, connect, transform. All right, guys. Um, just going to go over the quick walkthrough of the flow. I know it's pretty simple and step by step just by looking at this flow chart, but just so we are all clear on the steps that I took from my perspective to actually get this to where it was as the final product. So the idea in this example, I was thinking of a trailer for AITX, the community that I'm a co-founder of in Austin. It's an AI community. Definitely check it out. And then the next thing I realized is, okay, well, if I need a video, and I want to use Runway for animations, I was thinking, uh, well, why don't we use image to animation? So we start with Midjourney here to generate realistic images, and then we pop them over to Runway to make the animations, and then we go to ChatGPT to create a transcript for the trailer, which we then put into Eleven Labs to get the audio file, and then finally, depending on the mood I'm going for, I will use different genres for a soundtrack by producing it with Suno AI. So after that, I will take all of that stuff and I will throw it into CapCut, line it all up, maybe a couple tweaks here and there, but to be honest, it's it didn't really take that long. And then you're done. So let's talk about how we start with this by first coming up with the idea in Midjourney. All right, guys, so I wanted to first kind of get an idea of what I was actually going to make a trailer about because I didn't want to waste a bunch of time being like, oh, well, could do this, could do that. And I will honestly say that that probably takes the most time out of this whole process is thinking about what do I want to make a trailer about. If you have a product and all that stuff, then yeah, it's probably easier. I just, that's why it was easy for me to make the AITX one so fast. Um, but just for the sake of the video, I was trying to come up with something. And so I have a bunch of images generated here for just like a cool kind of like, I guess like loungewear idea I had called, um, downtime. So I will kind of explain a bit about the prompting here, but I do plan to have a more in-depth video on mid journey prompting coming soon. Um, and probably some resource guides around that. But just for the sake of the video, I'll just kind of explain a bit about what I'm doing here. Uh, so if you can see the first image here, if I can pop that up. So it looks pretty realistic, maybe a little too good, but that's okay. Um, the main keywords here that I'm using uh, for Midjourney version six is I usually say something like 35 millimeter professional photo of dot 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 or 8k professional photo of dot 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 and I will usually or not usually but depending on if I think the image needs it I will add this this parameter right here if you can see that it says style raw and that kind of helps make the image look more realistic usually um, and You'll notice that with Midjourney v6, you actually can get words this time, and I've found it to be pretty helpful to kind of keep the words that you're trying to actually show in the image to a, a short length, just so it doesn't confuse anything and mess up the words. And you also will want to put it in double quotes. I found that to be very helpful for me. And so, yeah, we're making a... We're gonna make a product trailer for this imaginary brand called Downtime. And this is going to be a brand about loungewear where there's Sherpa slippers and beanies and hoodies. So I thought the first one would be to 
like make something about here's some slippers in front of a mountain and you can see here I'm describing the the color and I'm also descri describing the color of the embroidery and it seems to be matching up pretty well and so that is something you'll notice in the journey is you can make really cool images with just a short amount of words like literally if I just say imagine like trees like we'll probably get something that looks pretty cool but the more specific you are and the more I guess not just like specific in terms of what you want but how you even say it like more specificity in the word choice is actually pretty helpful if you're trying to get something that is more towards your actual vision in your head so this is kind of something that I also am trying to practice with myself is to up my vocabulary to make sure that I understand what I am trying to explain to mid-journey that I want. So yeah, see like trees, look, it looks, it's still generating, but looks looks pretty good. Um, but anyways, the next couple I made were, I figured we should get some people in here. I don't know if I'm going to use any of, like, maybe I could use this one, um, it, the face looks just kind of creepy, a little bit, like, he. uh, but it has the downtime sweatshirt right there, and it looks pretty sick, honestly, um, but I wanted to get a couple of these, and again, we're gonna make this product trailer maybe 16 to 20 seconds, the other thing you'll notice in the parameter flags is the dash dash AR 16.9 so this is the aspect ratio parameter flag and I'm using 16.9 because that is the canonical dimensions of a like desktop video dimensions if I wanted something that was more like TikTok style for example I could say I could do it right here let's just do this let's just literally copy this and we will say 916 and this will give us something that is more vertical format like what you would see on an iPhone screen so depending on the type of product trailer that you're intending to like use it for like what whatever medium you're trying to promote this on you might rather use the portrait dimensions versus the desktop dimensions I just like the desktop dimensions because I think it works for a lot of places like YouTube you can always edit the like 16 9 aspect ratio to be this portrait it may cut off some of the stuff but you could still get something in there and so right here still generating a little bit yeah not bad um so cool we've got that so we've got some slippers We've got a group of friends in Austin. I do kind of like this. Wow. That guy's ear is a little messed up. But it is fine. This one's probably... De this is decent, honestly. Um, I know it's a little... Again, like, for the sake of the video, I want to kind of show you a speedrun of this. But so we've got some good product shots of people wearing stuff that is branded as downtime. Uh, these are some pretty sick ones as well. Dang. Yeah, so once you have the images that you want, you can then go over to Runway to actually turn these into videos. So let's get into that right now, and I'll show you how I do that. All right, guys, so next up is using Runway. Again, all of the links to these tools will be in the description below. But uh, so yeah, just right now, let's focus on this. So once you make an account, you're going to come on to the dashboard and you're going to want to click text to image uh, or text slash image to video. And I believe I already have something or maybe I don't, uh, but that's fine. So we are going to take the images that we saved for mid journey and we're going to upload them here and start animating them. So I will upload a file 
And I think I'm going to start with the beanie one, just because I think it adds a little mystery, catches the eye. And so what you can do now is you can set the duration here. I'm going to keep it to five seconds or what, or whatever the speed is here. And usually the only thing I play around with is the camera motion. So right here you can zoom it, zoom in, zoom out. You can pan, you can move it horizontal. So I'm just going to keep it very simple and just animate this just to kind of show you guys the idea. If you don't like what the animation turns into, you can always come back and retry. But uh, for now, I'm just going to do that for this. Do for a couple others. I'm probably going to speed through some of this, and I will pause if I use the motion brush, which is the Gen 2 uh, tool that they added for runway, which is for more specificity on the areas that you want to be animating in the images. But yeah, so let's just get right into it. I'm going to save that and hit generate, and I will see y'all in a little bit to talk about the Gen 2 tool. So we are going to upload another file. I think the next one we could do is the slippers. I think that would be pretty nice. And maybe this time we'll just try the motion brush for ha-has. So maybe right here we can paint this. And we can move it there, and we can also adjust the z-axis. And so I'm just going to see what happens. Again, I'm not, you know, an expert in the brush yet. I usually just experiment to see what works, which I think is probably the best way to learn. So if you have any questions about it, you can look at their documentation, but I'm just showing you exactly what I am currently doing and to show you kind of my workflow. So we are going to hit generate and we will see what this gives us. Okay, and we'll see. Oh, you know, honestly, kind of cool. Again, this is it may look a bit unnatural to be a regular, you know, advertisement, but with AI animations, it looks kind of sick. So I'm going to keep that, and now I'm just going to run through the rest of these uh, the same way I did for the others. So what you do is you literally just delete, and you will upload the next file, and then you will use the camera motion parameters to adjust the panning, the zoom, the rotation, the axis on which it moves, if it moves at all, on the y or x axis. And once we have all these videos generated, we can string them together and then we can get on to creating our narration and our soundtrack and then we'll be done. So I will see you guys in a bit. All right, we are pretty much done. We've started to cook up. We got some nice videos. So now we are going to move on to generating the transcript for this with ChatGPT and then onto 11 Labs and then finally Suno AI. And then we will edit what we need to in CapCut. So let's do that right now. All right, so now we are going to work on making the narration script for this product. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say uh, you are an expert in product marketing and product trailers. I am making a product trailer for a, let's say it's Gen Z loungewear. See the information about the product below. So what I'm going to say is like product name is downtime. And we are 
uh, target audience, say Gen Z and millennials. Here is the information about the trailer length. Or actually, no, what we'll say is we'll say the trailer I'm making is about 20 seconds in length. I want it to feel compelling and upbeat. So now I'm going to ask it to create a transcript for the narration that we'll add on to the trailer. Please make a compelling transcript for the narration. And so it's going to take a couple iterations here, obviously. Uh, it's probably not going to be exactly what we want, but I can say Let's try again, no emojis. Remember the script should be compelling and really tell a story to the viewer. And maybe we'll say we kind of want like a lo-fi vibe, like this will be played with a lo-fi beat soundtrack maybe that influences it in some way all right i like these i like this one crafts for the free spirits so we're just going to take this and again this is just for the example and now what we're going to do is we're going to use this and we are going to put it into 11 labs to get an audio file for the narration so i'll see you guys in that All right, so now we have the transcript that we can paste in here. And we have voices as well right here. You can find more voices on 11 Labs in the Explorer. But I think I already have 10 voices and I'm on the free account. So I'm just going to use one of the ones I have already here. So you can preview. You got to be careful if you don't know where you're going because you might not get there. I think the vibe, I need to think of the voice that we really want. We have committed the golden rule to memory. No. Let us now commit it to life. You got to be careful if you don't know where you're going, because you might not get there. Let's try this one. So what I'm going to do now is we are going to hit generate. And hopefully this works out the way we want. Crafted for the free spirits, the innovators, the dream chasers. Downtime is more than just loungewear. It's a statement of self-care, a companion in your moments of reflection and ease. I think we got one. So we're going to download that, and I will show you Suno next. All right, so this is Suno AI, and the way it works is you can literally make a song just by writing a prompt in this box right here. And there's also this custom mode feature that lets you put in the lyrics you want. Uh, you can generate the lyrics and you can also, I guess, random style on custom mode. So I think I'm going to keep it on custom mode because what I found is if you just have it generate a song, it's kind of hard sometimes to get it to be just an instrumental. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave the lyrics blank and I'm going to say a modern minimalist up-tempo lo-fi hip-hop beat instrumental and it may take a couple tries to get this um, but this is kind of the vibe I think goes well with the brand we're making a trailer for. So downtime, it's kind of like, you know, Gen Z, 
loungewear kind of hipster so i think upbeat lo-fi hip-hop matches that vibe well and we're gonna see what we get and hopefully we don't have to try as many times but this could take a while if you are really trying to be super specific about the type of song you want um and again you don't even need to add music if you don't want to this is just me showing you my entire process of how I made a trailer like the one I showed you in the beginning of the video. Okay, let's uh, give these a listen. downloaded that one and we'll just check see if this other generation batch is better but if not we're just going to stick with the first one that i downloaded and i will then show you the cap cut editing and then i'll show you the final product okay so we got two samples and now i will show you what it looks like when we edit this in cap cut so i will see you there all right guys so here we go we are in cap cut and i have these lined up like so and we can just kind of run it through and see if this order looks good. Crafted for the free spirits, the innovators, the dream chasers. Downtime is more than just loungewear. It's a statement of self-care, a companion in your moments of reflection and ease. And I added a little text there as well. Maybe we can move this around and we can also just to, because I am using the free runway, can kind of zoom it in to dream chasers, make it evaders, not have the runway, the dream chasers. Watermark. Sorry, runway, I will eventually pay so I don't have to use that, but it's just showing people how they can kind of get rid of it. And ease. Great, so let me export this. We can watch the final product and we'll end the video there. And I hope that this helped a lot to show you what tools we used. Again, we used Midjourney to Runway to ChatGPT for the transcript to Eleven Labs for the audio and Suno AI for the soundtrack. And finally, a little bit of post-processing in CapCut as needed. So let's watch the end product and I will see you guys in the next video. Crafted for the free spirits the innovators, the dream chasers. Downtime is more than just loungewear. It's a statement of self-care, a companion in your moments of reflection and ease.